location of hello service. It says that it is this IP and actually it's 88, but 88 is default, so it doesn't show. Look, I I reached my application here. I can again clear the H8 endpoints. I can call business service. What was my business service? Hello. The same hello, it's still running in Turkish. Let's maximize this a little bit. Okay, it's the same application, but this time reachable through discovery because we will need this path to, the, to reach our service. When I when I start a new instance of this application, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go back to the network service. Uh, let's check the field packages. You see there is a jar file here. One single executable jar file which is 42 megabytes of data. It's a lot, isn't it? How many lines of code I put in this project? A bit, few lines of code, but I get 42 megabytes. What is in it? Inside it. Let's look. Let's look. Let's try to see. Let's go to the target. What is in there? Um, I cannot, on my look, I cannot extract this. But inside it is these dependencies. Let's, let's check it from Maven. Hello service, dependencies, you can see what is inside. Inside of it is this actuator, actuator starter, and then you see there is a lot of lot of stuff that should come together to say hello, you know? A lot of pieces should come together to say just to say hello. And it's it's here. Alright. Uh, we have it. Now I will start the application from command line. Right? This is the flexibility of Spring Boot. This is how Spring Boot serves microservices architecture. Microservices means your service should be able to be triggered easily, like Java, Jar, and up and running, and start serving. Target, demo service, dot check. If I run it this way, it will fail because the port is already found, right? It will fail. So I need to change the port. Again, the red and green thing. Now I'm red. It's not ready. To go to red, I need to do server port 8081. Now let's see what happens. There will be two instances of the same thing. I'm scaling up, by the way, you see. There will be two instances serving. I increase the capacity of my application twice, two times, right? But I, I need to see if it's really there. You see, it's now two instances. Let's see, the other one is also running. Seems to be running. Actuator services, let's check out of this one. Let's ask it to say hello to us. Right? It's perfectly, both of them are running. Now it's the matter of uh, routing the request to these two instances. Okay, that's the issue. So the same thing, nothing magic, but world one. Let's do the world one as well. Let's go to our project. Let's go to our world service. Let's check it. The same, nothing is different. Only the business logic is different because world control is responsible for saying world rather than hello. Okay? So it's gonna do the same thing, world that message coming from config, world service properties, here it is, world message, that is extra configurations, that's fire. World service. Running from a different port, of course, in order to change the port, all I have to do is go to which file? Application.perfect, because it's where it starts to load from. 8090 is different. As long as it's different, it doesn't matter what it is. 8090, that's now what I will do, I will check Eureka. And I will see the world service register. So you see my services are getting there, getting registered, registering themselves. Let's see if it's going to say world. 